I'm back out fresh on the scene Franchise best on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream Back out fresh on the scene Franchise best on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream What's good YouTube? It is Bree Hall and I am back with another video, okay? I am very excited today because this is a challenge I've wanted to do for a long time, y'all. Probably a year late to this challenge, but it's okay because now is the best time because I'm at home. So today I'm going to be talking about the difference between and showing y'all the Instagram beat glam face that I do and then also my real life makeup that actually looks very good in person but might look like I'm wearing nothing on camera. Instagram makeup is really, really dramatic. You want to play up the color a lot because we're in these studio lighting setups and literally they expose everything as well as they also make colors kind of die down so you want to play up colors way more than what you might do in a regular everyday setting whereas when you're wearing extremely full coverage bright colors harsh lines etc in real life it might not be as flattering and then there's the whole other avenue of soft glam and red carpet makeup. So if y'all want to see me do another video and you really enjoy this one, make sure you give this a like and subscribe. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section that you would like another version of this video. And today I am partnering with Haley's, the makeup brand. So as y'all know, I love giving background information when I work with brands. And Haley's Beauty is founded by a female chemist who expertly formulates each product. The products are high performance, they're vegan, and they're cruelty-free makeup with skincare ingredients. Also stay tuned to the end of the video where you can find out how you can enter a giveaway with Haley's. And they're also having a family and friends sale that is 25% off site-wide from August 6th to the 13th on haleysbeauty.com. Uh, I don't know what's been going on, but there's been some law of attraction moments happening for me where I actually just, just, just ran out of my last Haley's Matte Foundation. I got this foundation about a year ago, I'd wanna say, and I wore it on the red carpet actually because it does not give any flashback. So I'm gonna put the picture here if I can find it. But yeah, I actually wore it before. And today, I'm actually using a lens that kind of illuminates and shows my skin a lot better. So you can see my texture, you can see that my skin has a lot of imperfections and things like that. I had a little mini breakout. I really, really wanted it to be as accurate as possible to real life versus IG. So first step is primer. I don't always prime my face when I do everyday makeup, but today I'm gonna to be priming both sides. So I'm gonna be going in with the Haley's Refine Prime Foundation Primer. And it comes in this little tube. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand. This is what the primer looks like on the back of my hand. All right, so I'm gonna make this the real life side and I'm gonna make this the Instagram side. And then I'm just going to put it especially on the areas where I have the biggest pores. You don't need primer everywhere. I usually put it for my real life side on places where I know it'll slide around, which is usually around the chin and jawline and my cheeks, and then a little bit on the forehead as well. My Instagram side, I'm actually going to prime my entire face because I'm going to be wearing a lot and this primer has a lot of blurring. For brows, the technique that I use, the first thing I'm gonna do on the real life side is take a little bit of a brow gel and I'm just gonna run that through my brows. One, because this is a lot quicker than the soapy brows and like the really stuck in place brows I do for my Instagram stuff. All right, cool. And you see that creates kind of this natural looking brow and then I just kind of push the hairs that are too far up down. Already it looks a little bit more groomed and put together. While that's drying, I'm gonna go in on my IG side and I'm actually going to do the soap brow technique. Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail on my IG brow because I plan to make a separate video on how I actually do that because there's a lot of steps that go into that brow but I'm gonna show now just how I kind of really, really bring those hairs up and I'm using just a disposable spoolie. This is a lot more <laughs> intense than, than my everyday brow but you know, it's funny, I do this method for every day sometimes when I have more time on my hands and I get a lot of compliments on my brows in person when I do this so I know y'all can see the difference in this one. She is two different humans. <laughs> now for my everyday brow, I'm gonna go in with this slight amount of brow pencil. I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Blade in the shade black, I believe, and it's waterproof. So I'm gonna use this little brow pencil right here. And I just kinda create the shape I want. All right, so on that everyday side, I'm gonna just, now that I'm getting to the inner part, what I do is I gradually just bring the pencil in like this. It looks a little crazy, but then I just take a spoolie and brush that 
up and kind of blend it in with the rest of my brow. So this is what both brows are looking like. On the IG side, I use a combo, which is still drying, of pen, pomade, and pencil. So it's really dark but it photographs beautifully and then on my real life side this is of course really kind of smoked out soft and subtle and it'll look even better once i clean it up with some concealer so next i'm going to be using the haley's revive concealer cream and i'm using these uh in tan warm and medium dark neutral the haley's revive concealer is formulated with their blurring technology and formulated with their spherical powder and the reason i'm doing this is because i want to use something that's a little bit um, closer to my skin tone on the real side so I'm mixing these this one's really close uh, oops wait no this one this one's really close but I need a little just a pinch darker so that it'll blend in really really well so I already have it here on my brush mixed together and I'm just gonna go right under my brow it's gonna look pretty bright what I'm gonna do is actually just blend this line down like this close my eye a little bit I always blend down and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a sponge which is gonna take off all the excess product blend and I'm gonna kind of <laughs> try to keep that line in the middle now on the real side what I'm gonna do is a little technique where I just take the clean part of the sponge and I just dab it on the brow and that takes that harsh line away a little bit and then I'm just gonna keep blending that in and I blend it all the way down to my eyelid. Now on the Instagram side, I like my under brow area to be a little bit more highlighted, pop out a little bit more. So I'm gonna use the Haley's in the medium dark neutral. Now for the Instagram side, I'm not gonna drag the concealer all the way down to my lid because we'll be using primer there. So then I'm just going to I always kind of drag it in towards my nose, the two different sides. As you can see how sharp and highlighted my Instagram side looks as opposed to my real life side. It's a very subtle difference to me, but it really makes a difference. I wanted to keep going with the jumping between both sides, but the only issue with that is I do my makeup in different orders based on what I'm doing it for. So I actually do skin first when I'm doing my everyday makeup versus on IG, I do my eyes first. So we're gonna go ahead and just finish all the skin on the everyday side. Everyday makeup and makeup just that glows in person you want to use a very light coverage foundation I want to go too heavy on coverage but you want to just spot conceal where you need a little more coverage so what I'm gonna take is the Haley's BB drops tinted marula face oil in the shade medium tan the reinvent BB drops is formulated with marula face oil which moisturizes the skin and does not clog the pores formula is so lightweight and it gives you that your skin but better glow and I'm gonna shake this up All right so I'm first gonna take the same concealer brush we use to just apply the BB oil and then I'm going to use a sponge and this is a Haley sponge as well. Sponges are great because they actually take up a little bit of the product and help redistribute it and give you that really good skin texture look. I'm going to go ahead on my real side and look at that. Also FYI for the Haley's BB drops foundation all that it does oxidize a bit so just be warned with that when you're choosing your shade. I always like to take a little bit of whatever foundation I'm using on my brush a little bit over top of my brow. These are oil but they do dry down pretty quick so I'm gonna add a little more and get into blending. You don't need a whole lot and I really really when I'm doing everyday makeup I literally spend so much time blending that's probably what takes me the longest because I really want it to look like skin and you can see everything in person and as you can see skin is still poking through like you can still see that little bit of redness there so that's what I mean when I say you're gonna go and spot treat so I see that I need a little bit more coverage there and I'm just gonna add a little bit more but what I love about oil foundations because I have dry skin personally is that they actually give you a little bit of that luminous dewy look in person oh my gosh y'all make you look so healthy and hydrated i don't know if you can see it on camera but yeah she's glowing and you want to take it down the neck too because never forget as you can see this is what the real side is looking like okay so for concealer on my everyday real side i'm going to take medium dark neutral uh, revive concealer from haley's again but Literally, I am taking the smallest amount. I don't use a lot of concealer on an everyday basis. I put it really close to my inner corner and I put two dots usually. And then I drag that side upward to give my eyes a little lift. The really light coverage foundation and a very heavy coverage concealer 
um, in excess because it'll be very obvious the difference uh, between how your skin looks. So I'm just gonna blend this out with my sponge. And the Haley sponge is really soft. So when you have your everyday side, you can keep adding, but that's the thing, like I like to build it up a little bit. And then for a little added coverage, I go in with a tad bit of concealer right here where you see my redness. And again, I'm gonna slightly, slightly mix these two colors Okay, and we still got skin-like, we're still natural. All right, so on the real side, what I love doing, even though I have a natural blush going on from the hot lights right now, but I love using liquids when I'm doing an everyday makeup look. I find that liquids are very, very flattering. Just a little bit of one of my favorite liquid highlighters because of the consistency, and it's, I think, this Wet n Wild um, Jelly highlighter and I'm putting a little bit I I often use a concealer brush for a lot of application but a little bit on the back of my hand look how bright that highlight is so it starts to blend out evenly that's when I know I can finally put some on my skin whirl it around and tap and I also like doing this with a sponge rather than a brush or anything because it makes everything very seamless as you can see my skin is catching light and sometimes I like to bring it a little bit further down these days with my highlight and then I'm adding a little bit on the chin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this Glossier blush. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. I go in with my sponge for the last little bit. As you can see, it's giving the same blush as my natural face blush, but just a little bit more even. I just like to take a little bit of one to two shades darker than the foundation I'm using in the same brand. A little bit of warmth back into my skin. So I'm using the Haley's BB Drops again, but this time I'm using it in the shade Dark Neutral. And super natural elude to how your skin already contours. And you can kind of see that right here. Look at how warm we are. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is actually set my under eyes with the Haley's Retouch Perfecting Powder. The Retouch Setting Powder is formulated with soybean oil, which adds a little hydration to skin so you won't get that really dry, crispy finish. And it's formulated with their Spherical Powder. And this product also sells out really quickly, but it recently came back in stock. This powder is great. I did a flashback test on it and it gave me nothing. I didn't have any flashback, which is always what I'm looking for. And I only use a little bit of powder for my everyday. And I make sure to kind of take it up like this. A uh -oh. little bit extra is not too bad, but I try not to overdo it with that powder. We're going to go ahead and I pretty much sweep this off immediately. <laughs> Since I live in LA, it's really, really dry. Um, sometimes I don't have to set my face, but I'm gonna go ahead because it's also very hot. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this Haley's Retune Blotting Powder here. Tap my brush into this. I did a flashback test with this as well. I didn't have any issues. Powder all over my face. As you can see, it's very your skin but better. So I'm gonna go in with a bronzer that's actually not too, too, too different from my skin tone. And I'm gonna just pinch this makeup brush. So I just add a little bit of bronzer going down here. And then I kind of just buff it out on the cheek area. So this is what the real side is looking like for every day. She real cute, she glowing. And then now we're gonna move on to eyes. For the real everyday side, I actually just go back into my contour, tap the outer corner like this with that, and boom. So it's real simple, but this is what my everyday eye is usually giving. And if I wanna add a little bit of shimmer on there, I will. If I wanna add a little bit more of a lighter color, I will. But this is pretty much my go-to <laughs> everyday. A brown and then a foundation powder of whatever one I kind of touch first. <laughs> All right, y'all, so now for the IG side. I'm very excited because I have so much fun doing my makeup. And for people who say like, oh, that's too much, what have you. Like, this is really art. I don't care what anybody says. The reason why I know it's art is because I'm actually a visual artist and that's how I learned how to do my makeup and blending and all that is very similar. It's painting, literally. Um, all right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually applying an eyeshadow base, blend out the edge of that a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now with my Huda Beauty palette and I'm just gonna grab this brownish, burgundy -ish shade and I'm gonna start my Instagram eye, all right, y'all? So I'm packing on a lot of color on the outer corner. Okay. 
All right, and this is what the initial blend is looking like, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease and come right back. All right, so I have cut my crease right here. As you can see, I did it off camera with a lighter color. Just, you know, it takes me a little time. I'm trying to try to get it right. A black shade with a really tiny brush like this. I always try to plan makeup looks, y'all. Uh, but it ends up always just being what I feel in the moment. Now that that black is really smoked out, I'm gonna add a brown from this little palette that I have that's actually a contour palette. Tap that in next to this dark color. <laughs> Another little secret about Instagram makeup is you don't have to blend perfectly because uh, it's not in real time. So, you know, in post-production, you can go in and edit anything pretty much that you want into it. I still try to, you know, blend as best I can and do everything as I would if it was like gonna be photographed because oftentimes when I do wear heavy makeup, it is for events and stuff like that too. I'm going to go in with a pretty light shade next, which is gonna be from Desert Sand from that Huda palette. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is not my best eye work. The blend could be a little bit smoother, but we're not going nowhere, so it's okay. Go ahead in with a small shadow brush, and I'm gonna take shade Nefertiti. And I love how much this one reflects light. So this is the finished shadow on this eye for the IG side, and now I'm gonna go into liner. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't know if I could do liner on camera and be proud of myself about it, but we're gonna try, okay? So this is kind of what the everyday liner looks like and you will barely see it because I do put lashes on for my everyday. I just like lashes. So for the Instagram side, I like to use a combination of felt tip and a liquid to give me what I call the guideline. So I start. Okay, see, that is my guideline. All right, so now that I have the guideline down, I'm gonna take a felt liner and then from there, I just fill it in. And then after I fill that in, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a regular line and connect the two. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to mascara and I'm gonna be using the same mascara on both eyes. So I'm gonna be just coating my lashes here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes and show you all the difference of the type of lash that I use. All right, so this is the difference in lashes. What I'm wearing for my everyday side is actually a half lash and I do this a lot now to give me kind of a winged out look. And then this is the glam lash. It's very over the top, it's very dramatic. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I love them for camera and glam and all that stuff because I think it looks good. So now we're about to do the skin. I will be going in with my Reset Liquid Matte Foundation from Haley's. The Reset Liquid Matte Foundation is formulated with Bakuchiol, a plant derivative alternative for retinol. It's also available in 33 shades at Haley'sBeauty.com. This foundation comes in a medium to full coverage and the finish is matte and the formulation is liquid. As you can see, it's pretty thick and it's also very buildable. I'm gonna be using the shade 6.65 Neutral and these do oxidize as I said before so make sure you just know that accordingly when you're choosing your shade. Then I'm also going to mix it with the 525 Warm. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the same sponge and we're just gonna start packing on this coverage, y'all. I feel like I could even go a shade down in it, to be honest, um, because this is usually my shade, but I haven't got a lot of sun, y'all, so. Your girl isn't her usual color because of being at home so much recently. I need to spend some time out on my, my porch or something. Hey y'all, so as you can see, this is super duper duper full coverage and like I said, it did oxidize. But once we put our concealer and everything on, it's gonna look fine, I promise. Thing that always happens with full coverage foundations, sometimes when you first put them on, you're just like, oh my gosh. But when that full face is beat, I promise, it's like a whole different world, okay? That uh, medium dark neutral that I was using under this eye, but I'm also going to go ahead and take the medium warm, which is this guy right here. And this is going to be just to brighten everything even more. We are packing on concealer. You don't have to put a lot, but look, I do. <laughs> There's no better way to put it. Uh, Oftentimes, I will kind of clean up my eye look this way too. I will bring it all the way in chin. 
in the forehead area. But as you can see, now that it's brightening up and everything, my complexion on camera is starting to show through as like, you know, it's starting to look right. And that's going to just be to brighten that under eye up, okay, y'all? All right, and then, see y'all, it's coming together. It just looks crazy because it's next to such a natural makeup side. And literally, if, if your whole face is being done in full coverage, it looks a lot better than it would if you're just doing half a face. Like, this isn't very ideal. Look at how full coverage and brightened and lifted that looks. All right, so I added in my cream contour areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start blending those in. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the powder just right along the sides of my nose, underneath. All our highlighted areas we're just gonna set. So I'm gonna go ahead in with this Fenty bronzer from, it's the uh, Caramel Cutie one that I always use. Don't want the colors too extreme. You do want them to show up on camera though, as you can see, like bam, you see that? It's showing up, girl, it is very present. Finishing powder, and what I do is I just take a little bit of that. This one doesn't have a lot of pigment, and I'm just gonna sweep that over my whole face. And what this is gonna do, is create a filter in real life for everything. And now this is when I would go back in and just add some of that shadow under my eye. And I always smoke it out just a little bit. I'm using the same transition color that I used earlier. And now we're gonna go ahead and just add a little highlight. I'm using a loose highlighter on this side. And these Gleam, this is from Artist Couture, I believe it's the shade Conceited or Illuminati, I gotta double check. But yeah, these babies Gleam, okay? Alright, so then I'm gonna go ahead and just add a blush off camera and come right back. Also, this part I'm very, very excited for. I don't know why I'm so excited, but it's the lips, okay? So I'm gonna just grab any liner that's brown. And I overline slightly because it's not noticeable when I just do it a little bit. All right, and then what I do from here on is very, very simple. I just literally blend it with my finger. Now this is a little trick slash secret. I'm gonna take a little dot on my finger of that oil-based foundation from Haley's and I'm just gonna do it on my lip like this. And we're gonna take any old brush and I'm just gonna take off the excess. It looks silly at first, but in person this looks really good once you put a little bit of clear gloss on top. So I'm just gonna put in some like 99 cent gloss right on top. This is one of my literal favorites for a glossy lip, y'all. Like look at this from the side. Cute, okay? Very cute. So then I'm gonna go ahead. It feels weird having half my lips gloss. Like I've never <laughs> experienced this before. I'm gonna go into again some sort of uh, colorful powder that's like the color of my skin and I just erase my lip line right, so for the IG since you can blur your lip line and post and all that I'm actually going to overline my lips significantly for this part all right and this is what the overline is looking like and then I'll go in to the inner corners and create like a bit of an ombre effect Then I'm gonna go ahead and take this liquid lipstick in Sandstorm. And then I'm gonna add this Revolution Gloss in the shade uh, Sheer Darling. And last but not least, it may seem like a lot of steps, but that's because it is. I'm gonna add an even lighter gloss on the Instagram side in the very, very, very center. All right, last step on both sides, I'm gonna add a little bit of fixing spray. It's gonna make everything melt together. 
as you may have seen at the beginning of the video, Haley's is hosting an IG giveaway where they will be picking 20 winners on Instagram. 20 winners will be getting one free reset liquid matte foundation and one free reinvent BB drops marula oil foundation that I used in today's video. Rules for Haley's beauty giveaway is really, really simple. You just have to be following me here on YouTube and on IG and follow at Haley's beauty on IG and then tag three friends under their giveaway post. Participants for the giveaway must live in the United States and be over the age of 18. Also one last reminder that Haley's beauty will be having their family and friends sale that is 25% off site wide August 6th through August 13th. So make sure you go check out Haley's in the description box. I link all the products I use in addition to any codes discounts all that good stuff that you all need to be great and have some entertainment during this time all right y'all so this is the finished look we're giving Instagram on this side and then we're giving real life every day on this side so to give a little more context I'm actually just gonna turn so you can see both sides All right, everybody, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this Instagram versus real life video. And let me know which videos you'd like to see coming up next and stay tuned. I love y'all, peace out, and I'll see you in the next video.